all right so what is going on today youtube uh we are going in we're going to be doing something different this week and uh probably over the coming weeks until i can finish my project but um yeah today we're going to be playing with wind witches um artifact invoked and also yeah i'm working on a special project that i want to present to you guys i hope you guys do like it um i think it's going to be like a four potter three to four parter right now um as of thinking about it but yeah we're going to just be slowing down on the videos because uh yeah man this is uh it's taking a very long time for these videos to be it, it just takes a very long time <clears throat> and you know i want to focus i want to do my due diligence i want to at least make it a, a you know at least good if you got okay well that's you didn't have to do all that um hmm this is actually very this is actually very good um, top deck ooh so I could spell book did not you know what let's just activate that let's just activate that to start off with and I've always wanted to play wind witches um, in zombies because of you know the effect of just getting a free getting a free Omega sounds very really good alright which one I think this one adds yeah that one adds this one burns so I definitely want this one um, and then let's go to Snowbell okay so I mean, clearly we got a special summon this, so. Bam. I think that's when he's gonna negate. All right, so what do you do? Um, I can go in this, and then he can't target this. He'll just target this, I think. Well, that's, that's just good in his own, though. Yeah, so let's go into this, right? So he can't target it. Okay. It depends on what he detaches. If he detaches Dante, oh, he he he's a smart individual. Um, we can definitely Beatrice this right now, but does it matter? That's the whole thing that I want to figure out right now. We do not play the five star. No. So let's see if he's actually really smart. Because he can, he can send Farfa, but if he does a chain link drawing, we, he's just gonna, he's just not gonna have a good time today. <clears throat> I mean, for competitive sake, I hope he doesn't do the chain links wrong, but um, for me to win, I definitely hope he does the chain links wrong. <clears throat> he definitely should uh, Farfa 1, Dante 2, but he might go Farfa 2, Dante 1. Um, and that, that's, that's Yu-Gi-Oh! lingo for you guys. Let's see what he does. And here we go. The moment of truth. And he does it. Yep. So you guys, pay attention to what you're doing. Just pay attention, man. This, the, the stuff you can do literally can cost you the game. And I think that's what he's going to Unless this is one of these traps are reactive. What's going on here? <laughs> what? Like, why are you even, like, it's not going to trigger again. Like, <laughs> what are you doing? Um, so, yeah, let's go ahead and go to a Crystal Wing. So, like I said, um, this can easily cost you the game here. Um, and you know what? I think I want to. Yeah, let's just normal summon this. There's no reason not to. Um, let's add a Spellbook of Secrets. And then let's. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be doing any extra damage today, so. Do you have a what's a name? Oh my god, he has a fire leg. Is that, li that's literally what he has done. He's playing old school BA. Um, ooh. I'm just going to activate this because, yeah, I'm not dealing with fire leg. That has to be what, that has to be what that card is. It has to be a fire leg. Um, it could be one of these Phantom Knight cards, but uh, I just doubt it. I really doubt it. And we have an Ash. Oh, it's a Twin Twister. Okay. Oh, that would have been really bad. So let's just do that. And then we could Spellbook of Secrets for a 
knowledge. Okay, so now we can just go into our battle phase. Attack over this individual. <clears throat> and yeah. I'm just going to negate. And I'm pretty sure this doesn't trigger, right? Yeah, it doesn't trigger again, so we're good. We should probably put Gofu in here. That's something in Scapegoat. Like, Scapegoat and Gofu should definitely be in this deck. <clears throat> I just took it straight from the internet, so... I mean, both decks I'll be playing this week is this straight from the internet. So, <clears throat> that's going to be that. What do you do? You search the Phantom Knights card. Um, you can add one to Phantom Knights card. You know what? I don't... Which one? This one searches Spells and Traps, right? So... You know what? Oh, I accidentally clicked right... I did not mean to do that, to be honest with you folks. I really did not mean to do that. Um, <laughs> I really did not mean to do that. I really meant to um, to check the graveyard again. Okay, so he's getting another silence boots, but you can only activate once per turn. So this is where Ash Blossom comes in at because he's going to, yeah, see, this is where the Ash Blossom comes in at. Now you uh, Ash Blossom that, so now you can't, you know, <clears throat> can't activate it again. Uh, you can go ahead and special summon. You can go into um, what is that card? Uh, Break sword. All you want. That doesn't do anything. You have no Beatrice to go into. You top deck the ragged gloves because you're just an amazing individual. Um, I can actually just play around this the whole thing. You know why, folks? Is because when he goes into the exceed, it's going to trigger because this is an effect, and it's going to activate. And I can ghost over, and then his effect in the graveyard will trigger. Um, I gotta read it first. I don't know if I wanna <clears throat> do all that, but his effect in the graveyard would trigger, and then Crystal Wing can negate that. And since it's indestructible, um, this is why I wanted to play like the Wind Witch engine in Zombies, is because if you can make a, a indestructible Crystal Wing, you're 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 far in the game. So what does this say? Um, if this X Y Z summon card is you control, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna Ghost Ogre. Right, and then he's going to trigger that effect, which is then going to get negated by the crystal wing. And you have a cow cow sitting in your hand that does nothing. So, hopefully, Beatrice does not go back to three or two. Next, the next, next banish. I do have a couple of cards that I think that are going to get, um, they're going to do some, uh, going, going to get hit off the band, like going to get put uh, from the band list. Okay, you're going to send a Phantom Knights card to the graveyard. Which doesn't matter because you already didn't use all three. Can't use Silent Boots again. You can send a trap, but that's, nobody cares about that. That doesn't do anything. Um, Cow Cab, <clears throat> what do you do? Yeah, you can just target a set spell and trap. That doesn't do anything. You can link. Oh, that's probably what he's going to do. Is he playing links? I mean, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he's not playing it. Okay. Well, this is match. I'll, I'll see. Now, that's just that's just disgusting. Um, yeah, we're going to activate that. Go ahead and get us an invocation. Um, yeah, we're, we're just, we're just, we're just in a, we're just in very control. And this is why I like the Wind Witch engine in general is because it just, it just, like, it debilitates your opponent. Like, they have to do so much to get rid of a Crystal Wing <clears throat> and you're playing Hand Traps. So that's, like, really debilitating. And then if they do get rid of Crystal Wing, you got your zombies ready to go. But there is a deck that you guys will see on Tuesday, and it's spicy, folks, and I mean spicy. Whew, it's it's so good, man. I just I really love the deck because it has a it has a way to search Zombie World, and I don't know how long you guys have been playing uh, Zombies, but Zombie World in these Zombies is so good because the Unit Zombie effect hurts so bad, and we don't have that. We don't we have. Three, we have basically three summonable synchros without Plague Spreader. Without Plague Spreader, we have three summonable zombie synchros that we can attack with, and they can only be summoned once per turn. So the fact that you can search Zombie World <clears throat> is just super amazing. That's just awesome. This is just... Oh, we play Strider Synchro. I don't know why he doesn't play Double Crystal Wing. That, that really doesn't... That really irks my nerves now. Um, like, you're playing Coatus for no reason. You play no waters in the deck. Definitely can cut that out to put what's in there, man. Oh, why he top decked the damn Rota. Um, he's gonna search a Phantom Boot. No, he didn't. Why would you not search Phantom Boots? 
That's what I didn't understand. Once again, it's under indestructible, so he can go into that car. Wait. I don't think I want to let him go into that car because if he does, he's going to be able to search that uh, the quick one and he's going to be able to go into the Dark Requiem. That always, I really thought that car was going to do some damage, but it never did, which hurts so much. Um, why would you do that? I, I don't understand. Oh, he was trying to do it. <clears throat> He was trying to do it, but he was just trying to go into Western. I don't know why he did that, to be honest with you. Is he either going to rage quit, or is we going to go into game two? Wait, what's going Okay. He was going into this. Well, that doesn't... He doesn't it has to be XYZ summon. And, um... Oh, wait. Does that pump it up? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't... He's, he's just... He's just flailing right now. <clears throat> he's just failing. Flailing. Flailing. I don't know how to say it, but he's flailing right now. He can go to Akashic Magician. Yes, he's surrendered. All right. So, game two, we're playing this deck. I don't think there's really anything to decide, though. The Weezum is really good. <clears throat> um, Jesus. That is Jesus Christ. Woo. That is a, that's a fresh one. We're definitely going to put that in. Take out this coitus. Oh wait, never mind. You can make a coitus. Um, I guess. How are you? I'm not. Okay, well, I'm not. I'm gonna just take out one macabre. And I think that'd be it. Um, the Mitchell Bear is pretty good. Sanctum is really good. The kaiju's are very good. So let's try to fit in some kaiju. Let's just put in three kaiju's. Where it's the, these three. Don't. Oh, okay. I don't know why he plays the win one. Doesn't make sense. Uh, we can. I don't know. Effect value is pretty decent, but it's not that. Good. I don't know. No, we're gonna keep Baylor in. I actually like it. Uh, let me see. We're okay. We're not going first, so yeah, we probably need to get these um, these artifacts because we're not going first. We just put in a solemn warning, and is that it? Yeah, that's it. All right. <clears throat> yeah, that was that was pretty easy. Uh, yeah, we're not going first, so we don't need the artifact stuff. Um, warning, while it is not a going first, I mean going second card, it's still a better card than Sanctum at that point. And then, like I said, we just throw in the Kaijus, and then there's that. So, <clears throat> hopefully we can get a good second game. Now I'm going to try to keep this around the under 20-minute under mark, folks. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's just so hard to do. Let me see real quick. I'll be right back. Alright folks, so he did not want to play game two. I don't know what the hell this man was doing, but yeah, that is it for today. Once again, like I said, folks, to, uh, these weeks are <clears throat> these weeks is only gonna be one video. But sorry for not trying to, I mean, sorry for not getting the match. <clears throat> Jesus Christ, man, my throat is just not having it today, but sorry for not getting a match. But hope you guys did enjoy the first, I guess, duel against VA. But once again, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did like the video. If you guys uh, would like to support the channel, all I ask for you guys to do is click on that. That is enough. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys tomorrow.